Hello agents, in this video I'm going to tell you how you can get the new exotic Sawyer's knee pads in the Division 2. If you do like this video please give it a like and consider hitting subscribe for more content from myself. And we also have a fantastic community that you can check out, just click the link at the top of this video description. We got them to drop on Jefferson Trade Center. I put a post out in the community earlier. Just a big thank you to the community. A lot of you got back and said to do Jefferson Trade Center. And it just took us two tries and they dropped for Paul. So he has some great RNG there. This could take a hundred times. It's probably going to take me 200 times because that's my RNG. But just an RNG based drop. And if you do Jefferson Trade Center over and over, they'll eventually drop for you. It's best to work in a team. If you're working with people that already have them, if they get them, they can share them with you. Uh, and, and we did it on hard. Like, uh, I think if you do it on challenging, people say that it will have an increased drop rate. I don't think that's true. Uh, go for hard. I think you can even get them to drop on normal and story, but I never ever go that low. Do let me know in the comments if it does drop on a lower difficulty. I would like to know. Uh, but yeah, just do Jefferson Trade Center over and over, and they will eventually drop, and you have your exotic knee pads. Now, how if exotics work on this game with others? It's normally like a faction-based drop. So this is a hyena mission, so that means you should be able to get this drop on any other hyena mission now i don't know this i've not had it confirmed again please let me know in the comments uh, if this if these exotic knee pads drop on any other hyena mission so I never got these to drop, but Paul kindly dropped them so we could have a look at them and have a look at the talents before I gave them in back. Uh, you've got the short circuit there. It's 80% jammer pulse charge speed. The first wave tech. Disruption effects now destroy hostile skill proxies. After staying in cover for four seconds, you gain the lead by example buff. And that lead by example buff is gain 50% bonus armor while performing a cover to cover. If the distance traveled is at least 8 meters, you'll disrupt all enemies within 10 meters and gain 10% bonus armor for every blue attribute for four seconds the disrupt occurs one second after completing the cover to cover this sounds fun it sounds like something i want to put a build around and give it a go because so if i'm going cover to cover and into a load of enemies they're just going to be all disrupted i'm going to have mega armor and i'm just going to be able to shoot crap out of them all so i'd like to see that in action but that's what they do guys uh paul was kind enough to also share the clip of them dropping just so you can see for sure they do drop on this mission and that is it for the video guys I don't feel like I'm being as informative as I can be but I am giving you all the information I know and you can get them on this mission as you're going to see now as Paul kills the boss they drop. If you know any more information if you can get them on other hyena missions as I mentioned before or anywhere else any other information you have please let me know I can update the video description I can update my written guide and I can just let people know when they ask me. I'd really appreciate it just put it in the comments. Uh, but thank you for watching this again if you've liked the video please do hit the like button consider hitting subscribe subscribe for more content from myself and our community is a fantastic one do come and check it out the link is at the top of the video description until the next video thank you for watching this one and peace out